Oh, hi. Hi, would you like to tell us about yourself okay. and your project? Sure. Uh, my name is Gyokan and I'm a PhD student in Atmospheric Sciences Department in uh, University of Wyoming. And here I came to show a poster like I did last year in PyCon and this is my second year in Python. And I'm seeing the uh, clouds in mar marine stratocumulus clouds and looking at various Would you like to tell us about yourself and your project? Sure. Okay, my name is Gyokan and I am a uh, PhD student in Atmospheric Sciences Department in University of Wyoming. And this is my second time attending in PyCon. And I'm studying the uh, uh, characteristics of uh, marine stratocumulus clouds and observational data that we gather and uh, try to look and the properties and the features of these clouds. And we start with the satellite uh, measurement locate where our measurement region is and whether we are seeing a cloud or not and then later on uh, uh, from a different side of the uh, satellite imagery this is a night night flight and I, I try to locate whether I'm seeing a cloud region when I'm looking at my plots and we st for that uh, I use that um, base map pl plotting library and with the, in combination with the Mat Matplotlib time series uh, data information, and so so far I have actually 45 cases of data for this project. But in this poster, I just have one one of the, the, the data that I, I picked to present present to you, and I have lots of different uh, time series information for that uh, particular case. And look at the the altitude of the aircraft where am I flying and various properties of the clouds uh, the clouds top height and cloud base height and the uh, lifted condensational level that I uh, gathered through the data sources and this is one of the important property droplet concentration I I looked at and uh, NumPy helps me to mask uh, the parts that I'm I'm not interested in seeing. And later on, I do various computations to to gather what's the how much the clouds is raining. And this is again Matplotlib is in action. And further on, again another property from the clouds. Again Matplotlib is helping me. And this is the nice uh, the features of the. Uh, that project we had the data sources from the remote sensing instruments and again uh, this is our instrument Wyoming Cloud Radar and uh, another of uh, Wyoming instruments Wyoming Cloud LiDAR and for that uh, I can see how the cloud is raining how heavy the cloud is raining and how those two data sources are aligning with each other again Matplotlib is in action in two-dimensional plotting way and one final note um, I combine all this information in a model, which is a P Python started, but later on uh, yeah, in, uh, implemented with the Cyton to get the uh, good speed up, good speed ups, and the good execution speeds. And here, here it shows my results. And so in Python, basically Python and its ecosystem is a very nice uh, to be a good alternative to the available commercial packages like IDL and Mat MATLAB. And basically almost all those things possible to do in the, those commercial languages is possible to implement with Python and its scientific ecosystem. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much.